Let's take a look of these two integrals. The first one is the integral of sine square x times cosine x. The second one is just the integral of sine square x. Based on this, which one do you think is easier to integrate? And the answer should be the first one. Because we have the cosine x right here, and then this part is just an expression in terms of sine x. So what we can do is we can just use u sub. I'm just going to begin with this by saying u is equal to sine x. And notice that I just picked sine to the first power x. Because if I look at this equation and then differentiate that, I will get du and the derivative of sine x is cosine x dx. And then I can immediately take this integral into the u world. So we are going to get the integral sine squared, which is going to be u. So we have u to the second power. And then this part, cosine x dx, and that's exactly the same as du. So we can replace the whole this, the whole thing right here, with the u. And now we just have to integrate u to the second power in the u world. What's the answer for that? It's just 1 third u to the third power, and then we know u is equal to sine x, so this is the same as 1 third sine to the third power x, and then we are done, plus d. End of story for that. And now let's take a look of this. How can we integrate sine to the second power x when we don't have the cosine x right here to help us out? Well, we have to think about how we can reduce the question to the easier case. And we can do that by using identities. The identity that we're going to use is, we're going to look at sine square x. We're going to do, look at the power reduction formula. This right here, it's the same as the integral of s. This right here is 1 half times 1 minus cosine to the 2x. Not to a 2x, cosine of 2x dx, like this. So this is just a power reduction formula for sine square x. Whenever you have an integral that's sine to the even power, you should always try to use this formula so that you can reduce the power. You may have to do it many, many times. Luckily, right here, we just need to do it once. So we finish this up. This right here is just a constant multiple of this function. So we can take this outside, 1 half integral of 1 minus cosine of 2x dx, and then that's the Put down the 1 half and then put down the parentheses and let's put down the answer inside the parentheses. The integral of 1 in the x world is just x. And the integral of cosine is positive sine. So we maintain the same sign right here. So it'll be a minus. The antiderivative cosine is sine. And then the input will be the same. The angle will be the same. So it's 2x. But then since the inside is 2x, the derivative 2x is the 2. We will have to divide it by 2. Let me put down a one half right front, right here, right in front. And that's pretty much all. If you would like, you can take the one half and distribute it into the parentheses, and I'll do that. That will be one over two x, one half times negative one half, that's minus one fourth sine of two x. And then we are done. Thank you, trick identity. That's all.